Okay, let's jump right into it. The first thing that we need to do, the first order of business, is to get you set up with a code editor. Now, there are tons and tons of different code editors available. Some are free, some are paid, some are modern and new, others are a little older and outdated. It doesn't really matter which one you use, and truth be told, it really boils down to personal preference. But here I'm going to be using a code editor called Brackets. So if you want to use the same code editor that I'm using, head over to brackets.io and you can go ahead and download them and install them on your side. Installation is very simple. In fact, it's so simple that it isn't even really worth spending time here walking you through the process. I'm sure you can handle it on your own. If you're using a different code editor, perhaps you're using Atom on your side, or maybe Notepad++, or Sublime, whatever you want to use, it doesn't really matter. I really have to stress that. The only, the only exception is you can't use a word processor. You can't use an application like Microsoft Word, or, you know, maybe Google Docs, you know, something like that. You can't use that. You have to use a dedicated code editor. Okay, so once you have brackets installed, he'll look something like this on your screen. This is what you'll see here. And let me kind of give you the lay of the land, at least here inside brackets, just to make sure that we're all comfortable here. We're all on the same page. Obviously, this main area here is our work area. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see a vertical sidebar. And you may see something slightly different on your side, inside brackets than what we're seeing here, you might see code, you might see something like this. Okay, and that's perfectly fine. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna set up our web project and get that loaded into brackets. And let me kind of explain how this works here because for whatever reason, a lot of people find this a little bit confusing. I'm gonna drill all the way down to my desktop just for a moment. And sitting on my desktop, I've got my project folder. And it's inside this project folder where I have all of the files that you and I are going to be working on. And I hope you know this already. But again, just to make sure we're all comfortable here, here's the deal. Here's how it works in web design, in web development. When you're working on a web project, all of the files that are a part of your project have to reside inside a single folder. So I'm talking about all of the HTML files, all your CSS files, all your graphics, all of your supporting files, any media files that you have, all that stuff has to reside inside of a single folder. Now, as far as brackets is concerned, here's how it works. Back inside brackets, brackets can only think of, or it can only think about one web project at a time. And this is because typically how you'll be working is you'll be working on multiple files at any given time, not single files, okay? So check this out. What I'm gonna do is over inside the vertical sidebar over on the left-hand side, here it reads getting started up towards the top. That's actually a drop-down menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on open folder. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and navigate to wherever my web project folder is located for myself here. Obviously, it's sitting on the desktop there. I'm going to go and select them and open them up. And then that loads that project and all of his corresponding files into the sidebar inside brackets. That's how it works. So everything that I see here, I also see down on my desktop. Anything that happens here also happens down on the desktop. That's the deal. But as I was saying just a moment ago, brackets can only think about one project at a time. If I want to switch over to another web project, I can go to the drop down menu up towards the top and I can go and switch back, for instance, back to getting started. Then that project loads in. So brackets does not multitask. Brackets focuses on one project at a time and we can flip back and forth between those projects from the drop down menu inside the sidebar. I hope that makes sense. Now, what we can do here, this is kind of neat, this is kind of cool we can single click on individual files if we want to kind of get a preview of those files. Or what I could do is I could double click on a file. And what that does is that actually divides 
this vertical sidebar in two, top and bottom. We now have a working files area and then of course the project down below. So I can go and double click on some files. I can begin working on those files. And then when I'm finished working on those files, I can simply close out of them and they get removed from that working files list. That's the deal. That's how Brackets works. That's how Brackets thinks, I should say really, about your projects and how you can open up files inside your projects.